past the next goodbye so today's video i just want to talk to basically my generation my generation today you know everybody is always wondering about a relationship or trying to get in a relationship or talking about long-term goals and stuff like that but they're not really ready for long-term relationships and that's what i want to talk about like that's what i want to rant or maybe give my opinion about today on today's relationship okay a lot of and i'm gonna be in and out the camera i don't mean to do it on purpose but a lot of people in my generation is so concerned about being in a long time a long-term relationship but that's not even what i mean that's not even something they're ready to do for one and i had some steps and some well some tips like four tips but i cannot remember where i put my paper at so i'm just winging it right now going off the top of my head for one when you get into a long-term relationship you have to be for sure who you are you have to know who you are you have to love yourself you have to care for yourself you have to have some type of standard some type of recognition of who you are what you want in your life um a lot of people well i also myself thought that when i got in a relationship that people had to love me the way that i wanted them to love me and just finding out and listening to you know talk shows and advice on self-love that's not the choice that we get to make for people we can't tell people how to love us we can't you know want people to do things that our way when that's not the way that they want to do it so we have to know ourselves and we have to love ourselves into a manner that you know somebody else can come into the to the picture and is able to fulfill that so first things first i feel like our gen my generation does not need to be in a relationship right now like this is not the time to be figuring or wanting to be in a relationship for one unless you have your career what you want to be your money wise your situation of living unless you're going to have that up to part i don't think that a relationship should be on your mind for one i don't think that a relationship should be in your mind right now unless you have those things in order now that's just my opinion now if you're ready for a relationship for two you have to be mature so you can't want to be in a relationship bringing in childish ways like you can't compromise with the other person you only see things your way you're doing petty things like staying out late and not helping with responsibilities if you have kids or household responsibility meaning paying bills like that's just a no-no so you can't be childish in a situation like that you cannot come to a relationship or a situation being childish that's just like you're not ready for a relationship if that's that's your mentality that's my opinion y'all have to both be on y'all grown man and grown woman status there's no way that the woman should be taking full responsibility on things and and vice versa for men i feel like yeah, some men want to take on full responsibility being that they're in a relationship and they feel like being the provider, they take on all of the bills or what have you. To me, on that note and that opinion, on that case, it's totally up to you both of what you feel and believe. Get that person, get in a relationship with the person that believes in the same thing you believe or similar or somewhat can understand that's my opinion on it um i do feel like you know if you're in a relationship i do feel like there's no certain amount of responsibility that should fall on one person and then a certain amount should fall on the other person i believe everything should fall on you both because you both are considered as one even in a relationship you are growing to become as one you're growing to become a 
a couple, a one unity, and I believe that responsibility should be upon both parties. That's just my belief. Well, some people have different beliefs. Um, another note is that when you get in a relationship, I just feel like in my generation, everybody believes in beneficial benefit in, and they will lie and lie and lie and lie about who they are and what they believe and if they're a Christian or not. I just feel like that's so petty and that's so stupid to do that. For some reason, a lot of people in my generation will lie about being single, will lie about not having a relationship, will lie about kids and stuff like that, or wouldn't even mention children in a relationship. They'll just leave that until, you know, the other person finds out, and I feel like that's very stupid. Um, But if you're, if you're getting in a relationship for one, it should not be for beneficial purposes. Meaning if man or woman get in a relationship, I'm sorry, if man or woman gets in a relationship, what is your purpose for getting in a relationship with somebody for money benefits? For what? Like, what is, what is the sole reason of it? Because if you're getting in a relationship for beneficial reasons, it's not going to last long. It's proven fact. I mean, that's just how it is. It's just proven like that. Like, you get in a relationship, get in a relationship for a reason. Don't get in a relationship because you feel like you need the money. You got to do whatever you got to do to get what you got to get. Then you over here messing with Paul or you over there messing with Suzanne and it's just a mess. And then... Y'all end up getting married and then things go left. I don't I don't think that, that you should anybody should ever do that. That's just totally selfish. If that's the case, work hard, get your job that's gonna support you. Or have patience. You know, God works in mysterious ways and God never fails. And that's my belief. That's my religion. But I mean that's my opinion. Don't ever get in a relationship or friendship or situation with somebody just for beneficial purposes. It just doesn't make sense. It, I never seen anything last for long when somebody got into a relationship due to money. Like money or the fact that they're going to be set or the fact that this person does this one thing for them. I, know, I, I haven't seen yet a relationship that lasts that long for that purpose or that reason so i suggest my generation don't do that because it's not gonna last it's no reason there's no connection there's nothing there to get in a relationship for a beneficial purpose so that's just my opinion on that another one is people getting in relationships being so fake and phony like on who they are don't get in a relationship on being somebody that you're totally not. Like, if you go to church, then you go to church. Don't hide the fact that you go to church. Don't hide the fact that you like listening to rap music. Don't hide the fact that you like to smoke your butt every now and then. Don't hide those things from people because you want to be with somebody that you feel like is worth being with for a lifetime and then later on down the line, you don't change that. You don't change the person that you show them that you are, well, pretending to be. For example, if you smoke bud and you're not ready to change the fact that you smoke bud. Bud meaning weed. Weed, yeah, weed. So if you smoke bud... And you're not willing to change that. But when you get with this girl, you pretending that you don't smoke at all. And you can't change that, that you want to do that. So later on down the road, she figures out that you smoke that. And she don't want to be with you because you smoke that. Well, that's her right, her every right to not want to be with you because you do that. Because she's not willing to lower her standards or accept the fact that you do that. And you have to just have no... You have no other choice. As as a woman saying that, 
if I can accept a man for the fact that he snores or something like that, then I don't need to be with somebody that snores. Like, I don't need to get in a relationship with somebody snores because I'm not willing to accept that flaw in that person. So, when you get with somebody, be willing to accept the flaws, the good and the bad. And if you are willing to accept them as they are, but you tell them, like, are you working towards changing or whatever the situation is, then that is, that's goals right there. Like, if I have a bad habit, why would I want my husband? Why would I hide that from my husband or whoever? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you hide who you really are? Be who you really are and don't be phony or fake and in getting into a relationship because that's just going to do nothing but make the situation hard in the end. That's all that's going to do. And um, I'm going to wash this pot out real quick. Okay. Now, what I was saying was never hide who you really are. Uh, you should never hide who you truly are. Because in the end, if you do, eventually, sooner or later, they're going to find out who you really are. And it's, it could mess up something that could potentially be good. It could mess up something that potentially could have been a lifelong, you know, relationship. A lifelong friendship. Whatever it is, it could have been... A lifelong situation but because you chose not to be honest or real or be who you are they accepted the fake you and not the real you so my suggestion is to always be real always be honest you know about who you are don't hide that I look funny talking on the camera but um never hide who you are like i'm a church going female i like to go to church and i like to sing gospel songs i also like to dance and listen to hip-hop music i mean i have a passion for dancing i have a passion for r&b music it, it it's just like i like different to different i like listening to different varieties of music i do like listening to different varieties of music but like i'm a soul you know church goer i go to church all the time and i love you know talking about god and and building my relationship with god as well as you know i love singing gospel music i like to sing and i also like r b too so it's like i'm a whole person with different things that i like to do and also, I'm a type of female that if I feel like doing something, I do it. I, I just do it. If, if that's what I feel like doing. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I got to think twice about it. Sometimes I just do it. Um, I'm the type of female that will say how I feel also and let you know how I feel. Sometimes it's not always the right time to do that, but that's the type of female I am. I am the type of female that now does not take a lot of BS. This is my tolerance for BS. It's that little. Yeah, it's not much of a space, but I do not take BS. So, you know, I've transformed over time. And now the people that's in my life see that, that I transform over time. So this is me. And... You have to accept that. So, as for you, you know, be you. Don't change you. You shouldn't change you. You shouldn't have to change you. The person who's who's going to be with you should accept you for who you are. You know, that's you. Why should you have to change yourself for somebody else to accept you? It doesn't make sense to me. But that's what my generation does. Pretend to be somebody else and then... All these statuses on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram is about fake this and fake that, fake this and fake that. They're not really being, they they really are being somebody else just to be in your good graces when they should be just themselves. If you accept them for being themselves, if you accept them for who they are, then you wouldn't feel the need to call them fake. But because they want to be in your good graces, they 
act like somebody they're not. Um, another thing for the females in my generation, um, I'm not going to make this too long of a video, but the females in my generation will, sell, will accept any and everything. Let me give y'all a good tip. Like, I have been in a relationship for over 14 years. I haven't been in this relationship just because of sexual encounters or intercourse, none of that stuff. Like, I'm not in a relationship solely because of sex. Is That's not why I've been in a relationship because of that long. Okay, sex... For, for my females and my males, sex is not what's going to keep somebody in your life. Like, you can give good Peter, you can have good coochie, but that's not what's going to keep somebody in your life. That's why so many of us is in and out of relationships because we think that sex is what's going to get us and sex is what's going to keep us, keep him or her, should I say. That's not it. That's That's not it. Maybe to the little girls, for the younger, the millennium generation, maybe for them. But for our generation, that's that's not it. That's not what's going to work. And marriage is not just to get in something, just to have somebody, just to have somebody to have your back. Because you're married to them, you think they're going to have your back. Um, Tip. Marriage is just not like somebody that you keep in your back pocket and you go out here and go smash and dash everybody else. That's why the uh, divorce rate is so high. It's so high because people think that marriage is just like, oh, well, I got her, we're married, so she got my back. Or if anything happens, she got me. Mm, sorry to tell you, a lot of people don't take that. A lot of people don't tolerate that. And you will be at divorce court or you will be at the courthouse getting a divorce and paying alimony and all this other stuff. So I suggest people not to just get married just because it's the new thing or it's the new gray or black is the new orange or whatever. Because it's not, it's not a trend. Marriage is something that's a commitment that you go before God and the witnesses to confess your love to one another that's the whole purpose of marriage it's not just to have somebody that you think is going to have your back for life even if you do go out here and mess up so yeah sex is not what's going to keep somebody so to all my females please do not think that because you got that good good it's a quite a few females around who got that good good okay that's not going to keep a man. It's, it's not, it's not going to keep a man. So. so, when you get in a relationship, try to build on something other than that good, good. Okay? Try to build something like a relationship, a friendship, a bond. You know, build something like a, a friendship first that can turn into a best friend. And then you have a relationship. That's what keeps a relationship for the long term. A lot of people are meant to marry and be with their best friends. And a lot of people aren't. But that's what keeps a man around. That's what keeps a man with you. And, and vice versa, that's what keeps a woman. Is that the man takes time to do the necessary thing that he needs to do the man also gives and takes the man also compromises so for both of you it's going to be work you're going to have to take some l's he's going to have to take some l's you're going to have to go some days where doing what he wants to do and he's going to have to do some things you don't want to do but that's that's the relationship that's what building is that you're willing to sacrifice something you really you know really really want to do and you don't do it or sacrifice your time doing something that you really don't want to do and you do because you love them because you love them you, you it's a give and take it's a give and take in a relationship it's not just the, the sex 
I just don't know how many times I gotta say that. It's just not the sex that all I hear nowadays is you gotta do this and you gotta. It's it's just not just that. It's just not. Grown women are amazing thrill off of what you do to the mind first, then before what you do to the body. I mean, you have to get the mind first. So. You know, the sex will be good if you have the mind at times, you know. So, that's just a tip, uh, a tip to you men. Um, yeah. So, that's just a few pointers and I guess that's my little rant, my little talk to you guys. But, yeah. And I'm not saying that sex has nothing to do with it, but sex... I mean, sex is a great thing. It is. I do not knock it. But another thing is you don't want to go around here having sex with everybody. And then you're not protecting yourself either. That's for both parties. Please protect yourself. If you're going to have sex, at least have enough dignity and respect for your body to care enough for yourself to protect yourself. Now... I understand latex condoms is not the best in the world. Yes, I understand that because, yeah, I don't like it either. Um, But there's other condoms that you can use. There's bear skins and there's lamb skins. And I have tried bear skins. I have not tried lamb skins, but I've tried bear skins. And majority of the bear skin line is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. It, it's like the real thing. It's, it, I wouldn't lie to you. It's like the real thing. Um, I do suggest that if you're using um, condoms that you buy lubricate, lubrication. Um, or if you're not using protection, I suggest you be with that one partner. Because STDs is not cool. It's not the thing. It's not the fashion. It's not the trend. But it seems like in my generation, that's the trend nowadays. People don't like to use condoms. For what reason? I have no clue. But, yeah, people don't care about their life no more. So, please try to wrap it up. Protect yourself. Get checked every six months to make sure you're good. To, you know, know it's the status. I mean, it's scary, but it's a need-to-know type of thing. I get tested, you know. I'm married, but I get tested. Still, just to, you know, make sure everything is good. Because you don't know how you're going to get stuff these days. I mean, you see some stuff on Facebook that you can get something from touching something or kissing something or sitting down on something. So you never know. I have been STD, T free, I meant to say. I have been STD free since I have been sexually active. I do not know what an STD feels like. I don't know what an STD looks like. Only from pictures. I've just never had that firsthand. Never. So, you know... It's good to, you know, just be with one partner and know that we're both not giving each other anything. That's the best feeling in the world. You know, that you can trust somebody on that level. So, I do suggest that. Um, if you are having sex, just stick with that one person. There's no point in having six people, five, 15, 20, 200, just to keep a freaking status. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. You want to keep a status for what doesn't make sense. Um, I mean, the vagina does what the vagina does, whether it's five people or one. Penis does what the pe penis does, whether it's five or one person. It does the same thing. I mean, I haven't seen any anything different you know i haven't seen anything different so ladies just stop thinking that your vagina is the key to all things and to keep a man because it's not it's really not 
to know that you have um, I I would assume that a man and a woman I'm speaking for both points of view that you want to know that you have somebody that has your back when you fall they're there to pick you up without judging you um when you feel like you have nobody else in the world that they are there for, they there for you when you're at your lowest point i mean the lowest point of your life and you feel low and low they're there to uplift you and comfort you and and give you words of give you words of encouragement and they're able to you know push you to the the best potential ever in your life and be there to go through your walks and your changes and see you grow like that who doesn't want that and then y'all be both able to win and get 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 your career and succeed both of you you know and gain knowledge and and start families and you know who doesn't want that so i just suggest our generation just try to slow it down it's just realize that it's nothing out here with doing all these wildy things putting yourself out there making yourself look like something for no reason like what's the point okay you want the tablet mommy will get it hold on well duty calls but that's my tip just know that there's more more out here than just going home smashing people and then when you need somebody to be there on the nights you home by yourself the nights you lonely the nights that you need somebody to talk to who cuddle up with you don't got nobody what you gonna do call up that random girl you met at the club or call up that random girl that you found on tag or something or that random dude that you met at the store that that's all that's all i wanted to say um i don't know when the next time i might vlog possibly when the kids start school then i'll be able to get my mind and thoughts together but y'all be easy and just take time just to figure out what you want in life and figure out just basically yeah figure out what you want in life figure out you first and then you can add on know what you want first then you can add somebody else on. Peace.